Concrete 5 version 7 gives you a lot of flexibility in arranging content and functionality on your page. If you use the layouts feature built in, you can maintain a responsive website so you are always mobile friendly uh, and everything just collapses to where it should be on tablets and phones. So let me show you how that works. This page has a bunch of blocks on it that are just laid out top to bottom, uh, very wide, kind of boring. So we're going to pop it into edit mode and we're going to roll over till we get to the block area. You can see it's a block area, it has this little tab. And click on that and you can see add layout. Let's go ahead and add a layout. Now there's a couple of options here. If your theme is using a um, responsive breakpoints, we're using Twitter Bootstrap as a guide for the theme, uh, you will see these grids listed here. You can also do a freeform layout. Uh, we'll get into that later. That will break the responsiveness of your site. So we'll leave it with Twitter Bootstrap. And we're going to give ourselves three columns. And you can see when it did that, it automatically made some spacing. Uh, it automatically positioned these columns. And if I drag these, it doesn't let me put them anywhere. It forces them to be on the specific breakpoints for uh, this template. We'll add this layout. And you can see now I have three empty areas. So I can just grab a block, move it where I want it, grab another block, move it right there, so on and so forth. So now I've taken two content blocks in the form and arranged them next to each other. Um, I can also grab these images and put them in a smaller spot and you can see it'll actually size those guys to fit the column as opposed to taking the whole width of the page. So let's go ahead publish our edits and you can see we now have a much, uh, much shorter page that has some better arrangement to it. Additionally when I collapse this down you'll see those columns just changed a little bit they just got smaller the images got smaller as well this is called responsive. And eventually we'll actually move, there we go, restack those block areas on top of each other, put the image down below. So this means that anyone visiting your site will always get a good looking version of your website as long as you use layouts uh, that have that grid system built in. If we want to do a um, more custom layout, which we certainly can, if I add layout here and I change away from the grid, but instead go to freeform layout. You can see now when I add columns, add some spacing to them, I'm really adjusting things at a pixel level. I can put these anywhere I want them, but this is just making divs and when your browser stretches back down, uh, especially if you have large content in here, you're not going to have as graceful of a collapsing experience. So this won't be as mobile friendly.